recording. All right, I am reviewing the replacement power cord. It replaces any device for uh, TV, DVD player, cable box, sound bar, home theater system, game consoles. Um, it says PlayStation, all this other stuff. But it does not say anything about Xbox One on the back. Well, um, it's 10 foot cord and I already plugged it into my TV. You can get this at your local Walmart um, for like, I think it was like 10, around 10 bucks. So I'm going to plug it into my Xbox. I got the cord right down here. It's 10 foot to replace my other cord that I lost. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to hook it up and show you. So I'll, so I'll plug it in right now. In the back so you can see that it fits. It fits just fine. So I'm going to pause it and I'm going to go through the bottom of my entertainment center and plug it into my outlets. Alright, I got that cord plugged in so I'm going to turn my TV on. It's my Samsung Edge Curve TV. So we're going to click on Xbox with the remote. Did I turn it off? No. It's pretty cool about this on Samsung Edge or the Curve TV. I mean, that you can use your remote to control the Xbox too. So I just plugged in the cord. Pause. All right. Power cord, it must have reset for a second and it turned back on. Well, that power cord um, works, but on the box at Walmart, it doesn't say anything about Xbox One on there. I just won't let you guys all know. It's uh, 250 volts for the power cord. So, so let's see. Box. Doo -doo -doo. Zoom in on here.